Cutie event game at. All right, now as we close in, we are past the 40-second mark. So let's listen in. Flight director is Ty Huntington is going to take us through. T minus 15. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Vehicle is pitching downrange. We're seeing 32 out of 33 engines lit on the Super Heavy right now. Coming up shortly is going to be Max Q, that maximum aerodynamic pressure as we go uphill on the vehicle. Max Q. All right, we just passed through Max Q, so we're going to continue on up. We still have about a supersonic. minute and 30 seconds until we get to stage separation. All right, so you got a couple of views. You got some ground trackers in your top camera there. You're looking down from the top of the booster, and uh, all but the three center engines on the booster are, gonna are going to shut down. Booster engine cut off. Ship ignition. Stage separation confirmed. Boost back burn start up. Acquisition is Houston. Houston. Looks like all 13 are lit. Kate, we've got a booster on the way back to the Gulf and a ship on the way to space. Lots of excitement. So right here, this is <laughs> this is our view of the jettisoned hot stage. Uh, as we mentioned, this is a temporary fix to help uh, reduce the weight of the booster. Uh, so we have the super heavy booster. Future iterations will have a lighter weight integrated hot stage structure that won't need to be jettisoned. Away from that landing burn, expecting to begin, and an incredible view from the forward portion of the booster. This is basically on top of the super heavy booster. Right now the booster is using the four hypersonic grid fins to guide itself through atmospheric re-entry. And we are expecting that landing burn here. And screen rotating and turning okay, to guide the booster and there's that landing burn. That landing bird just begun, and you can see the water below. And we have splashdown. What an incredible sight. Congratulations to the SpaceX team. The data is the payload on these flights. So as much as we can learn, that's just going to pay dividends on all of them. And then got a new view here. We have two external views. We had this one on flight three. We've got two for this one. Uh, and we're going to continue adding views. loss of uh, roll control on flight three. So we added some additional thrusters and we can see that uh, they're working well and we have a much stable, more stable view. So those flaps, there's four of them, two at the top and two at the bottom. Um, they're made out of stainless steel. Landing and, uh, instead of a more traditional means like parachutes. And we are expecting re-entry to begin here in just about a minute. Re-entry, <laughs> awesome view that we have here. This is, the, this is the same. Yeah, these views are absolutely astounding.
Most um, temperatures continue to rise within expected region. And just pausing to just take in this incredible new and different view that we're seeing. Particles make an appearance in the plasma there. You can see you're looking down at the aft end of the ship. And then after that, we'll get into subsonic where we're, we're moving less than the speed of sound. But wow, what a light show so far. External temperatures are starting to come down. Again. And we're, we're strategically putting some cameras around the vehicle to just look at the, the different areas. That, ooh, looks like we got the flap starting to come apart a little. Yeah, it does appear that we have a little bit of burn through there. We can see but the ship is still coming down, which is incredible to see. How far can it go? That is the question. Right now. Now, ultimately, the data is the payload today. We've been saying it multiple times. We're... The good news is we still got, oh, looks like that camera lens just cracked. <laughs> <laughs> it's safe to say ship's getting a little beat up, but that's to be expected on a test flight. We are still learning how to. And there we got that live view back. <laughs> the crowd very excited to see that view. That movement means the flaps are actuating. I think we can see something. All this data is incredibly important. Even if, uh, you know, it breaks up right now. Okay, we can see that flap actuating through the glass. This is incredible. We're getting very close to splashdown. These fireflies are such a good <laughs> sign of life right now. <laughs> we wish we could see more, but we'll take it. Starship is at two kilometers altitude, terminal block. My name is startup for Starship. Starship is in landing burn. Landing burn, Shepard. The, the landing burn shutdown was commanded. 